Tomorrow, you will have the opportunity to perform a lab that is typically done in college or a biotech industry. We will be isolating proteins from Escherichia coli, a prokaryotic cell found in places like your intestines. Proteins are purified for reasons, and it's because scientists learn from studying the structure and functions of proteins. Before you start the lab, the bacteria have already been transformed with a plasmid that is coated for fluorescent proteins. The bacteria have fluorescent proteins in each cell and they have multiplied. Breaking down the title of this lab, fluorescent protein purification. Fluorescence is when light is absorbed at one wavelength and emitted at a different wavelength. Living organisms can be fluorescent or bioluminescent. Aquaria victoria, a jellyfish, is fluorescent and bioluminescent, while fireflies are bioluminescent. Bioluminescence is the production of light by living organisms. Proteins are macromolecules made of amino acids, and there are many different proteins in cells that have different functions. For example, proteins can act as receptors, enzymes, transporters, and more. Purification is a process in which something is filtered. We are going to start the lab with a petri dish with a lawn of E. coli that contains the fluorescent proteins. The whole purpose of the lab is to isolate the fluorescent proteins and the first step is to break the bacteria open. The first material we will use is TE buffer and the technique of scraping. Scraping the petri dish will give us the bacteria that we need to obtain and the TE buffer helps in this step by suspending the bacteria in a solution. Next, you need to open the bacteria to get the fluorescent proteins inside using lysozyme and dry ice. Lysozyme is used to break open cell walls and is found in many things like egg whites and saliva. With dry ice, we will snap freeze the cells, causing them to swell up and burst. This reaction is similar to when a soda can is put into a freezer. When a soda can is frozen, the contents inside the can expand and will eventually burst. Both the soda can and the cell contains water, and water expands when frozen. Centrifugation is a process in which substances of different densities are separated due to a centrifugal force. In the lab, centrifugation will be used to separate the proteins from the lysed bacteria. The bacteria cells are already in pieces, and when centrifugation occurs, the heavy parts of a cell spin into the pellet and the fluorescent proteins stay in the supernatant. Fluorescent proteins contain something called a histag, which is simply a long chain of histidine of amino acids that are attached to the fluorescent proteins. In this case, the histag is histidine. Nickel beads are used in this lab, and nickel beads play an important role to the process, which is that the histidine will attach to the nickel beads because nickel beads are positively charged and histidine is negatively charged. Column chromatography is the next step. Chromatography is the process in which solutions are separated using different techniques. In this lab, we will use cotton to separate the proteins from the fluorescent proteins. Cotton separates things by size, so nickel beads are filtered from the proteins, and we are left with fluorescent proteins attached to the nickel beads on top of the cotton. Elution buffer, which contains imidazole, will help isolate the fluorescent proteins directly. The imidazole from elution buffer will connect to the nickel beads and in turn replace the fluorescent proteins so that the fluorescent proteins will fall into the microtube. Now the fluorescent proteins are fully isolated. To get a proper result in the end, there are a few mistakes that can be made that we need to be aware of. The most common problems are made when someone is not being careful. Some of these problems include pipetting improperly throughout the whole lab, scraping a petri dish too harshly and disturbing the pellet during and after centrifuging, 
Now that you've heard about the major science concepts behind this lab, you can start doing it tomorrow. At the end of this lab, you will have proteins glowing as bright as me. Good luck!